morning and welcome back to the channel. This is just going to be a short video to update our eco-worthy solar trackers, some of the questions that we've had about them, and uh, where we are with our trackers. We have eco-worthy 48 volt batteries. We currently have four and we purchased two more. Um, because the summer is coming and we will be using our air conditioner a lot more and that requires more energy. We also purchased 12 more solar panels because you have to have the panels to charge the batteries. If you don't have enough panels to charge the batteries, then you'll have no battery power overnight when you don't have any solar energy. And what happens during the day is that when you are running your running whatever power you have on the solar, they use the power from the, Max is here. He stopped petting him and he started jumping. So during the day when you're running on um, your off-grid power, you're using the energy off your solar panels. During the day, you're using your energy that's directly from the sun to do two things. You're charging your batteries for when you don't have solar power and you're running off the solar panels. And so if you have a high energy demand and you don't have enough panels, the panels are gonna go to run whatever you're running off your grid and not charge your batteries for overnight. And so last summer, what we were finding was that we had great energy for the day, but overnight, because we didn't have enough panels to charge our batteries, overnight we would have to run our generator because we didn't have that. And so hopefully this year with our additional panels and additional batteries, we will have enough to where we don't have to run the generator for the air conditioner. Um, we still currently run the generator for our washing machine. And that is only because our trailer wiring, because we're living in an RV, our trailer wiring can't handle the draw from our washer dryer combo and it trips the breakers. And so we have to run the generator separately to one, run the washing machine, which is something I will do later on today. So as you can see behind me, we have three solar trackers. They are eco-worthy solar trackers. And let me show you specifically what we have done. This was the first one we purchased. And you can see we have a very wide base here, very wide base. Uh, we originally put this center piece in and then we thought we needed, no, we originally put the big piece in and then we thought we need a little bit more weight because this is not very thick. And so we added this piece. And so here is the base. It has eight um, bolts. Eco-Worthy will send you some bolts that you can put into the concrete, drill into the concrete and secure it. We opted to put these into the concrete first and so then we would place the uh, pillar onto it and screw that down. Recently, we purchased the Solar Tracker Power Box. We were changing batteries out from our, the Solar Trackers don't come with batteries. You have to get your own batteries and hook them up so that the tracker will move. And so every couple of days, especially on cloudy days when they move a lot, uh, we would have to change out the batteries and charge the batteries, switch them out. And so there would be days when they wouldn't move, the trackers would move and we wouldn't get as much charging as we need. Um, so we did that for several months. I can't recall how many, but recently we bought the power box. This is the power box. It literally took a few minutes for my husband to install. You hook it up to the tracker and you get along with it a little solar panel that you hook to the end of your brackets and it works amazing. As soon as they got hooked up, they started moving and it worked out really well. I thought that was a really good purchase. We got one for each tracker and they were $119 each off at EcoWorthy. We didn't buy them off Amazon, at EcoWorthy. And um, so you can see we have 
for the second one in the power box. It's over here. And it they're all on. You can see they're all on. So the last one. We have our little solar panel there and our power box again on and functioning as they should. It is a cloudy day today, so the sun hasn't obviously they haven't detected the sun because it's cloudy today. And but once the sun will come out, then um, they will move and it works, it works really well. Those were a very good purchase. Let's talk about the bases. For the second two trackers, we opted to put a pillar base like this. They are about two feet into the ground and maybe even three feet, two feet in the ground, three feet. We use these 12 inch um, concrete forms, put them in the ground, set our bolts in there, and then set the trackers on top of it. We did have to purchase these bolts separately because the bolts that come with the trackers, they are meant to go directly into the concrete and be secured into the concrete. So you can see here, we have even some imprints from our template that we made to match these bolts so that we could put it on. And I'm gonna show you that template. EcoWorthy has these plates when they ship the tracker in, they're solid. Um, they separate something, I can't recall, it's been so long. But we use this as a template, and it's just a piece of metal. You can see he had marked it. He even marked the direction of where, because you have to situate the trackers in a certain direction. So you can see here he had placed it, you know, that would be the north, west, east, and south. Um, we did one for each of them. These are the only two we have remaining left over. I don't know why we're keeping them, but we have them. And so we made this template to uh, put on our concrete pillars so that we can know where the holes were. It worked really well using the template. Um, we left it on until the concrete hardened a little bit and then pulled them off. And then my husband was able to put the tracker base on there. Well, that was just a quick short video about the progress of our solar power and our trackers and how well they are working for us. Um, I do like the trackers. It was a bit frustrating in the beginning with having to switch out the batteries frequently so that they would still track because they don't have, they don't come with that power. But since we purchased those power boxes, it's made a lot different. So prior to those power boxes, I probably would have said they were not worth it because you're constantly having to change out the batteries and charge the batteries. But since we have the power boxes, they have been a purchase that we think was valued. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we will have more updates. Hopefully, we'll see how our new batteries go and new panels go for the summer, which I'm looking forward to. And then also, you see our home. We have our floor in. Um, we, got, we are going to hire some framers. Um, so we got one estimate yesterday, so hopefully we'll get some more and we'll get that taken care of. These frames, in case you're new to our channel, are previous frames that we had for our solar panels. Um, we are going to, believe, use those for the 12 that we purchased. We are going to use these uh, for the panels for the time being until we get our house built, which we'll probably put the panels on top of there. So again, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe.